Hey guys, welcome to the 26th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to finish up looking at work planes. And the first work plane that we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is normal to access through point. But before we actually get into that, I just want to show you the shape that we're working with. Um, basically what it is, is it's just a quarter of a cone. So let me just rotate around here and show you what I mean. So yeah, it's basically just a quarter of a cone. And to get this, all I did was just draw a triangle and revolve it around this line 90 degrees. Alright, so now that you can see what the shape is, hopefully you can understand what we're doing a little bit more. Alright, so like I said, normal to axis through point basically just means that a plane will be created that is perpendicular to an edge or axis, and it will contain a point. So if we were to select this edge and this point right here, it would basically just create a plane that is perpendicular to this line right here and includes this point. Alright, so let's just go ahead and do that. We're just going to go up to plane, select normal to axis through point, go ahead and select our axis or our edge right here, and then just go ahead and select a point. And for me, that's just going to be this point up here. Alright, and as soon as I click that point, we see that we now have a plane that is perpendicular to this line right here, and it contains that point right there. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is to that one, and the last one that we're going to be looking at is normal to curve at point, which is very similar to the one we just looked at. So basically for this one, you just select a curve instead of an axis, and for us, that's just going to be this line right here, and then you just select a point, and it will be perpendicular to the line right here, and it will contain that point. So we just go up to plane, normal to curve at point. First, we're just going to go ahead and select our curved line, and that's just going to be this line for us. And then I'm going to select a point, and it's just going to be this point right there. Alright, so now when I rotate around, we see that that plane is perfectly perpendicular to um, this line right here. And it contains that endpoint that we selected. And we could just go ahead and do the same thing over here. So again, we just go up to normal to curve at point, select this curve, and then select this endpoint right there and we see that it is perpendicular to the end of that curve and it contains this point right here. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I know it was kind of quick, but we only had two more work planes to cover. So, see you guys.